Where the breathing is easy, the living is good Out in the great outdoors Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats Vortex Double Towels Bartline Barrels Magic Products Power Sports Company Mike's Country Meats Leroy Meats Easy Loader Trailers and Heavy Shot Do you remember like I always say? It's a great day to be alive. Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. I'll tell you what, we have got an exciting show for you today. We're actually down in Madison here. We're gonna be hooking up with our good friend, Brian Zupke, Big B's Guide Service. And we got our friend Chris from Badgerland Tires with us somewhere. Hey Chris, who knows? He's probably already out on the lake. I'll tell you what, this guy loves to fish. Hey, Big B is on a fantastic perch bite. And I'll tell you, he's been sending me pictures for the last two weeks. We've just been busy, crazy busy. Um, a lot of these perch he's catching are in that 10 to 12 and a half inch range. And if anybody knows anything about perch, them are perfect eating perch for sure. Hey, there he is. Hey, Chris, how's it hey. going, man? Good. Perching in. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm excited. Every time we fish with you, you are one hell of a fisherman, my friend. I try. Yeah, I try. you have the passion, not just for fishing, but tires too, huh? You so bet. So how's business been going at well, the tire shops? we need a little snow, which is coming in the next few days. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> sales, so. Uh, that should be good, huh? Yeah, you bet. The uh, worse the weather, the better it is, so. You like the bad weather, huh? I love the bad weather. I love the Bring cold it on. weather. Yep, I'm with you. Hey, everybody, I got a feeling it's going to be one of them awesome days. We've actually got some great weather today. There's not a lot of wind. Uh, it's about three below right now, but perfect fishing conditions and a little bit of sun. And Big B's already out there with a couple clients. He's on some fish, so hold on to your hands. Right. right, where's Pete's line, Brian? Why well, didn't Pete go get that one pound test? No. I didn't bring it. <laughs> what do you use? You're not really using one pound, are yeah, you? Yeah, one and a half. You yeah. dirty rat, you. <laughs> Honestly, right. this isn't. This is that isn't... what you're using? Yeah. Right. Are you lying to me? Lying to me. Oh, I can't believe he would do that. Zoop would do that to us. Oh, yeah. She's got some weight. Big fatty mama. These lakes, we fish real deep for perch. So, this is called a pencil weight. Basically, a piece of metal and it's flat on the top here. And the reason it's flat on the top here is so when you're fishing real deep, 40, 50, 60, 70 feet, you get a good return on your sonar signal. So it shows up really good on your Vexlark. Sometimes a smaller jig can be hard to see. And it gets you down real quick. So when the school of fish come in, you're not wasting two minutes trying to let a five mil tungsten sink for a minute and a half. So what we do is we run a leader from our pencil weight to our jig and you run the leader so it's just shorter than the weight. So when we're dropping it down and it sinks real quick, that line doesn't have a chance to get above the weight and get wrapped around the main line and tangled up. Well, that's a good one. It's okay. Hey, dude, you're supposed to be filming for us. Hey. You're out here fishing all the time, spending all your time with these guys, somebody, right? Are you think these guys are good for good instigators Some, or what? Somebody's got to be already catching fish and it ain't Peter Bryan, so I guess it's, it's, it's going to be not, Well, they're the ones claiming that they're catching them all, all the time, <laughs> right? And often. They're coming through about 30, 40 feet off the bottom. They're coming through in schools. Okay. And, and you'll get a few of them that don't come through by themselves. Oh, that's a nice one, too. That's a really nice perch. Okay. Here we go. I'll tell you what, I just marked about four or five of them. They were down about 55 feet on my FL28 here. and. Uh, 
they came flying up. Ooh, that's a good one too. Boy, I'll tell you what, it's amazing the size of these perch too. You know, a lot of people go all the way out to the Dakotas to fish perch, and it's amazing how many great lakes we have right here in Wisconsin. And you know, no doubt, you know, the old Friday night fish fry perch are definitely the most sought after fish in this part of the state for sure. I'm two up on you. Pete and, and Chris always don't fish me. Kind of nice once in a while. It's all been pretty nice. Fish. Yeah, I mean, the average size has been phenomenal. Yeah, that's what average size has been, what, nine inches? Ten and, ten and a half. No, when that fish came in, was he was it a oh. single mark or did you mark multiples? I don't want to get my gloves wet. Like I'd call that, that's over 10, that's average. Yeah, that's a great average yep. right there. Holy man. You can't complain about that anywhere and I'd say you there's perch. been more overs this than unders. Yep. Nice job, Austin. That's a toter. I love that sound. Boom. That one was kind of in the middle, about 20 feet off the bottom. Okay. What do you got on for a bait on there, Austin? So I'm using a rocker. Okay. Um, if, just, wow, that's a big male. That's, Show everybody how they can tell the difference between the females and the males. So every now and then they will fool me. I'll get home and I'll think I got it, but I'm wrong. Um, obviously your first big clue is gonna be, especially you start getting into late winter, you're gonna start getting a big belly on them getting closer to spawn here. Right. But the males, a lot of times are just, if you kind of just profile them, their head looks bigger in comparison to their body. Like the females, a lot of times will look like they have a small little head and then their back and their belly kind of comes out. Whereas the males have kind of a big blockier head. A lot of times the males get a bigger bump on their nose. I can just see if I can find, here's a kind of a comparison of female. Like a smaller, more streamlined, pointy shaped head. Male's kind of a big square blockier head. Good eater. We'll take those all day long. Yum yum. Oh, oh, oh Caleb! Been You've been quiet there, my friend, for about the last 15 minutes. Yeah, I've, I haven't had a ton of marks, but the ones that I have had are not bitey. Not taking any chances with not having enough spikes on there. Just, are you crushing them too, or? No nope. the spikes? No. Nope. Just Something leaving them all whole, huh? Yeah. Apparently they're liking it. A lot of times, them little things like that make a big difference. You oh, know, yeah. just the way, the presentation of the way they have that bait hanging on there. Yeah. I'm definitely starting to mark a few more. I wonder if they're gonna start getting a little bit more active. It certainly got really cold last night. Yes. Once the sun comes up and it starts warming up, I think they're going to start It's going to be on. game on. Yeah. Here we go. Hooked there up. you go. Hooked up, Chris. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. It feels like a good one, too. Hey, I'm loving this, man. Caleb just caught that one. Chris caught one before that. My goal today is to outfish Chris for once in my life. Right? Whoa. Look at the size of that thing. Look at that fish right there. You know, again, people go all the way out to North Dakota, and when you think about the great perch fishing that we have here, right here in Wisconsin, you know, the Madison chain like this with Zupke and the guys here, you know, these are great, great fisheries. And, uh, you know, you look at Northern Wisconsin, Lake Winnebago, I mean, our perch populations right now are really looking strong. So, you know, a lot of times people don't have to travel as far nowadays to find really great fishing. And you look at that, that's a, you know, I don't know, Caleb, what would say, 10 and a half, 11 incher right there? And that's a, that's a felt, fat, healthy perch right there. Hey, I'll tell you what, you know, like Caleb was saying here, little things make a big difference and he's really loading up his jig. And what I have, I've got red and white spikes on here. So I had two on before, it wasn't getting bit as good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna keep loading them spikes up on there. And I've got four on there. And I'm not gonna crush them. Sometimes I will crush them. 
and uh, let that uh, some of that body fluid kind of ooze out on it and that can make a big difference too sometimes even just putting a little bit of scent inside your spike container like this uh, that can help out too i mean just again it always comes down to little things you do make a big difference in fish fishing you know and a lot of times little things you do can make a big thing a big difference in life itself up in the upper that. Oh yeah. Oh, Austin, hooks up. Oh, this is a good one. That's a good, I like to hear that. Yep. Yeah, last year, Austin, when we were with you on that steelhead trip, I had so much fun. I learned so much. Oh, this is a beast. That's a fanny. Oh, that is a good one. Hey, let's talk to Austin. Let's talk a little bit again about the, you know, the females versus the males. They're really, for the most part, when you get a male, there's more meat on them because of the belly, right? Yeah, so, I feel, and this is, this is a, a big female, um, I feel like the males are the better eating perch, even though they they average a little smaller, but that that part I can't promise. That might just be in my <laughs> But I I'm do, not for, arguing for the you length know. of the fish, the Hooked males up. have more meat. Hooked up. Oh, I'm about to double with you. Hey, hey, Chris. Hooked up. You know, oh, there's that's a, a nice female right there. A lot of times I'm, I fish Winnebago so much and guide out there, and you're fishing a lot of times, you know, 12, 14, 16 feet of water. So when you can come out to a deep water basin like this and catch these fish out of, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 feet, that is definitely a thrill. I mean, again, you got a lot more water column to wind these fish up in. And obviously you got to watch your Vexilar a lot closer because of that that huge water column that you have but it's definitely a lot of fun and you know you got to realize like when you're pulling these perch out of this deep water like this it doesn't matter if it's seven nine ten eleven twelve inches for the most part you got to keep these fish and add them to your limit right there because you're not going to really be able to release many of these you don't think austin you can successfully uh, release these fish at all if you're in an area that's real deep and and you're having a problem with a lot of small fish okay we pinch the barb on your hook and then when you set the hook if you know if it was a small fish right especially with these big pencil weights you can just kind of slam your rod up and down let that pencil weight rack that jig back and forth and like four out of five times you could shake the hook Pop out of that it. fish right off that's yep. a that's a great tip if we caught some seven eight inches i'm definitely gonna gonna uh, keep them fish for sure and i'll bet you 20 bucks when you fry those fish up those seven inch perch plays are the first ones everyone's gonna grab off the plate Hey everybody, you know what this year we've been doing a little series on pimped out vehicles for ice fishing. And boy, today we have definitely got some pimped out Argos. You know, it's pretty cool how these guys built their own basically boxes on these Argos, you know, to enclose them, obviously to put all their gear and to protect it and to protect themselves and keep them warm. And you look at like this Argo here, of course it's got tracks on it. You have got your Wentz in the front. You have got your auger mount right here, and of course a light bar. You know, I'll tell you, there was some definitely some fabricating that went on to build this enclosure on this Argo. Very, very cool. In the inside, you look inside here, you got their own shock system right here, so you can crawl in and out of it easily. You got rod holders built in right here. You got the GPS up front and a heat system and a fan to keep the windshield from fogging up. Very cool. You know, that is the cool part about ice fishing is because whatever kind of vehicle it is, you're always looking at customizing it. And you know, the reason is because you want to make it easier to obviously get out here to keep your gear safe and keep yourself safe. But very cool to see this pimped out Argo. Tell you what, Brian came over and said, hey, start moving and marking fish over here. And that's the cool part about what these guys do. They're always drilling, more holes moving, and you gotta stay on these schools of fish. Hey, Brian, let's talk about some of the schools. Oh, there you go. I just can't believe the size of these fish this year. Man, these are absolutely perfect, perfect fish. And uh, you know, a couple of them we got are over 12 inches. Oh yeah. There were some nice fish. No. 
You got, I was talking before to Austin and Pete, and they were saying that you guys are really seeing a lot of different year classes too, huh? Oh yeah, definitely a ton of year classes. There's gotta be at least five different year classes uh, in the one spot we found this year already, with fish ranging from like five to, you know, 12 inches long. There's gotta be, what, five different year classes. Yeah, I would say you're right about that. So the future's looking pretty good, buddy. Yeah, it's looking great. Keep hey, people happy. I thought you were Mr. Bluegill. I like bluegills, but I love perch. You perch, love are my, perch. perch are my favorite. Hey, there we go. Doubled up. Nice job. You got a big one? Nice one? Good quality perch. Well, not as big as Pete's, but nice male. Yay! First one of the day? Uh, first one ever. Oh, yeah. oh that's First exciting. one ever. Congratulations. Thank you. Did he hit it real good? Yeah, yeah, he. It was that like thunk, that classic sound that you guys keep talking about. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, as soon as it popped, I knew it hit that time. Oh, Jay, he's blown up. He's blown up. We got it. Oh. <laughs> the old palm rod. I want to see that. He's right on you. Oh. Typically, you get them competing like that. You're gonna want them to go just a nice average. Hey, Chris, let's ta let's talk a little bit about the the Badgerland tires. You know, the great part about what you have going there is that you do not have to have an appointment. Yeah, that's one of our biggest things is a lot of people are in a hurry. And right. They don't want to wait. I yeah. hate waiting, man. Exactly. And instead of making an appointment, taking forever to get your tires done, you can come down right away, get in right away, and get it taken care of. And we're a good price, too. And you, you guys have uh, three locations. Three locations, Appleton, Oshkosh, and Shano. Hey, so everybody, make sure you check out Badgerland Tires if you're looking for used or new tires. You betcha. Yeah, in and out. You betcha. Good guys, too. Quick and fast. Your fishing ain't like that. Tom, I wouldn't lie to you, man. Yeah, that's a decent one. Hey, everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, Pete and Brian, I'll tell you what, between you two, there's got to be a good tip. There's always a good tip. Oh, yeah. well, I want to know why we're in the middle of this huge lake, why we're in this spot right here. Well, we uh, started off, we do like fishing uh, pressure ridges and stuff like that. We had found fish, but um, we got off that area and just started going out in the deepest part of the lake, basically, in a basin, and just looking looking for schooling fish and um, just looking for water clarity. And when we stumbled on this spot, we drilled through and it just come up green as could be. And, Darker water, darker huh? Water. Darker water, and then when we uh, come back the next day, there's algae blooms in our holes. Okay. So, well, I believe the Daphne is attracted to that algae, and now we have this area all slushed up. Basically, it's hard to walk, but still, uh, the light is getting through this compared to the snowy areas, and that'll attract more algae, Daphne, and the perch, and it seems that they've been coming through this area for days now. That's so. a great tip. Hey, everybody, thanks for the tip, you guys. Everybody, again, Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you. You feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. They never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. I'm going. 
Well, send them this way more. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Nice and nice sunlight. High, very high. There's like kind of a, oh, that's a nice one. Hey, it's our Leroy lunchtime, and what we've got going here today is we've got the Parmesan garlic brats. And you know the cool part about Leroy's is that they have a place in Horcon and in Fox Lake. They have over 60 different flavors of brats. And I'm telling you, if you're a brat lover or not a brat lover, I'm telling you, it is definitely the place if you like different flavors of brats, you definitely want to check them out. I'll tell you, um, my favorite is definitely the buck and bite, but I don't, I've never had a bad brat there yet. So again, over 60 flavors of brats, so check them out. Leroy Meats in Horicon and in Fox Lake. We've also got some venison ring bologna from Leroy Meats today too. So we're gonna have a little bit of variety. Here's the other cool part is that I love these heat and serve. We've got the roasted turkey in here too. Tripled up. Come on. Well, Chris. Chris, talk to me. Oh, it's a perch. <laughs> <laughs> what kind is this? Oh, mama. Hey, I'll tell you what, Zoop, what an awesome day we have had here. And the fishing's been fantastic. The weather, the company, the food, it doesn't get any better than that. Ooh, let me get this guy out. And a lot of, that's probably the smallest perch I caught today, and that's still, you know, a good nine incher right there. Perfect eating fish right there. Hey, Brian, come on over here. Let's talk a little bit about, you know, basically you're guiding year round and you're guiding obviously ice fishing, open water fishing, you know, and come on, kneel on down here, big guy. You're not getting that old on me, are you? No. Dude, I got a couple of years on you and I can still run across this lake and back on a stolen mule. <laughs> What's it say? Right. What's your little secret weapon there? Well, I went with the tungsten on there. Okay. I went a little bit differently. Hey, so let's tell everybody a little bit more about what you're doing as far as your guiding. I do ice fishing and I do open water. Um, I work with Pete, Caleb, and uh, us, and we all work together when it comes to you ice You got a season. good team, man. Yeah, we, we put the beat down on the fish. We make sure we're on fish. We work every day trying to stay on top of these schools of fish and make sure customers go home with fish. Hey, you know what I thought was cool today? You had a husband and wife out today, and obviously we were filming a show, and you spent a lot of time with both of them, right? Yeah. Yep. And that's really what it's all about. You know, you're, you know, as a guide, like the rest of the guides that are out here, it's all about really helping out the clients and educating them and getting them to catch fish. That's yep. what guiding is all about right yep. there. Teaching everyone how to catch fish. You know, first people that ever, first time they've ever ice fish, you know. And they did well. They did really well. Hey, let's tell everybody how they can get a hold of you guys. Uh, you can get a hold of me at bigbeesguideservice.com, uh, best damn bait and guiding, and Blue Ribbon Outdoors. Uh, one of us will be ready to go, and uh, you know, if we're, one of us is filled up, the other guy might have availability, so. That's awesome. Yep, and we all work together when it comes to ice season. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us this week on our show. I'll tell you what, we wanna give special thanks this week to all of our law enforcement and military men and women. Thanks for the great job they do protecting this country and keeping us safe. Remember, like I always say, be damn proud to be an American because it still is the greatest place in the world to live. And no doubt, it's a great day to be alive. Caleb always smells good. Did you notice that too? Every time I'm next to Caleb in the morning, he smells like a, like a Old Spice commercial. <laughs> He does that to you too? Yeah. Does he hold you like that? Yeah, he picks me up like a baby and tickles my tummy. That's where he got his training from. Yeah. From you, Austin. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of get jealous. Well, oh, speaking of, hey, it figures the food is being cooked and who pulls up? Big B. Hello, sorry. 